says and what it's going to be like and the Antichrist is going to come upon the scene. We know that one day Israel, there's going to be a peace treaty made. But we may not see it. It may happen right after we leave. It could happen right before. You know, the temple's got to be built. But, see, but we be. He was going to say the temple's got to be built. All right, and so this is what I want to talk real briefly about. The temple is the idea of the third temple. This idea that there's got to be a third temple. And by the way, uh, there's not going to be any sort of treaty in Israel being made. This is tied together. Now I'm going to show you. All right, so to make this easier uh, for you to understand, hopefully, uh, the third temple when people talk about the third temple or the temple that's that has to be built yet before the end of the world now first of all it, it, I would like to be there with you when you explain to Jesus why he can't come back yet because the temple hasn't been built yet or the Antichrist hasn't been uh, put in power yet or this treaty with Israel hasn't been made yet I want to be there when he comes in the clouds of heaven and you're standing there talking to Jesus and explaining to, explaining to him why he can't come back yet. I want to be there with you. I want to hear that conversation. Anyways, let's get into this. Man, Daniel 9 verses 21 through 24. I'm not sure why they would stop at 24, uh, but... Uh, nevertheless this is where they're getting this idea from this idea of a third temple okay so I'm not gonna read you can read it on your own it's very simple all right so it's, it's in regards to the 70 weeks so you go back up to the top uh, Daniel talks about 70 years all right and then the angel comes and tells him about 70 weeks all right and tells him to consider the vision okay so now here in verse 24 it says this um, talking about the Messiah all right He's not talking about anybody else he's gonna make an end of sins now come on you don't think Jesus put an end to sins you know, I could make this a long video. I'm going to keep it short, though. Jesus is the one who makes an end of sins and reconciliation for iniquity. And to bring in an everlasting righteousness. Now, who's going to do that? You think somebody's going to, the Antichrist is going to do that? The Antichrist is going to put an end to sins? and bring in everlasting righteousness now, this is all tied in with the third temple right when people are teaching that this third temple has to be made and the treaty has to be made the problem is who is the messiah is it the antichrist or is it Jesus Christ? And look, it, to me it's obvious. Jesus put an end to sins when he laid down his life as the sacrifice, the offering to God for our sins. He's the one that causes sacrifice and oblation to cease. He's the one, not the Antichrist. Jesus is the one that tore down the temple and rebuilt the temple. All right, And they didn't understand this in his time when he talked about it, and people still don't understand it today. The temple has already been destroyed. And the temple has already been built up. And Jesus has done it all. And let me end with this. I love Yankee. He's, he's a great preacher. But he, like 99.9% .9 of everybody that teaches end time prophecy, they got it wrong. And this is wrong. 
Jesus has done it all. Come on.